Hello? Yeah, hi, I'm here. Barack, where are you? In my house. Here we go again. Oh, oh, okay, I thought you were in my house. Ah, what's up? Not much, Joe, just excited to rank first-person shooters. Oh, this is gonna be good. Yes, it will be. Let's star this list off with Halo. What were we thinking about this? Halo Combat Evolved was the best FPS ever created. I challenge you fuckwits to find me a better map than Blood Gulch. What about Battle Creek? I love Battle Creek, Joe, but you're on crack if you think that it's better than Blood Gulch. Oh, wait, you are? Battle Creek was like the kid's version of Blood Gulch, bro. Quick, put it in S tier before he says more stupid hey, shit. Trump. Remember when I wanted to put barbecue sauce into S tier last video and you put it into B tier? Uh, I don't really, yeah, fuck, yeah. Okay, just spank me already. What the fuck did I just hear? Spank me, daddy. What? No, no, you know what this is going to S tier. Fuck your weird cuck shit, Donald. Thought you liked cuck shit, Obama. We all know you get down on all fours for Michael. Arf, arf, worf, woof, grawl, arf, arf. See what you did, asshole? Ha ha, Obama's a simp. A simply amazing motherfucker. Yes, I am, you fucking kid sniffer. Moving on, we have Battlefield. Battlefield was amazing. The fact that the environment around you collapses and gets burned down was so cool. Whenever some fuck ninja camps in this game, I just demolish their entire building. Plus, the graphics are way better than the other WW2 games. I love how real it is. It's almost as real as me. Are you a clone? No, I don't have an ice cream cone, but I wish I did. Trump, talk to me after this tier list. Please, we need to talk about that, uh... That thing, remember? Yes. The thing, yes, okay, the thing, let's talk later. So I like Battlefield, great game, but it's no Call of Duty. It cannot be higher than B tier. Enough said. Okay, I'm gonna go B tier on this one because let's be real, Call of Duty is the best. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna put this into S tier right now, and if you disagree, then you're trash, bro. Preach. Truer words have never been spoken. You a bitch if you disagree. Normally, I would say everyone's opinion matters. But if you don't like COD, you're a fucking bozo. Next up, we have Borderlands. I'm great at Borderlands. This is the most JB has ever spoken about the border. You know you can't traffic children in this game, right? Oh, I was thinking about something else. What the hell is this then? It's a post-apocalyptic FPS with cartoon graphics and special elementally charged weaponry. You don't remember playing this at Hillary's house that one year? And she was way too into it. Oh, okay, I remember that now. Hillary was off a bean that night. I'd put it into D tier, all the cutscenes were too fast for me and the gameplay gave me headaches. Since I don't have a deteriorating brain, I'd put this into A tier. It's a great role-playing game, fun to play with friends, which I know Hillary is your only friend, but this shit has epic co-op. Although I don't believe that your brain isn't deteriorating, I'm gonna put this into A tier. The power-ups and skill trees were very interesting to tweak, and the secrets inside the towns made for some fun exploration and loot. Next up, we have Overwatch. Ooh, I love this game, my waifu. And all the art in my house comes from these busty anime characters. Joe, we are rating the game, not the anime. Overall, I think this game lacked the it factor. Gets boring very quickly. I hate having to run for five minutes before getting to let it spray. Aw, oh, Trump, you can't even exercise in a video game. No, fuck that shit. Yeah, shit that fuck, I hate cardio. Weights and big beef only. Put this shit into A tier. The characters are too sexy not to. Joe, you have some problems. Being someone who does not crank it to video game characters, I am going to place this gracefully into the B tier. The game is well done and the character play is fun, but it just doesn't have the same involvement or creativity that other FPS and matchmaking games have. Next, we're ranking the Tom Clancy series. Goated. Tom Clancy is like my doppelganger. Maybe if Tom was 300 pounds and sat in a chair all day. Tom and I would have taken out Osama in five seconds. Yeah, easier said than done. Anyway, the game is great for matchmaking. Personally, I think the gameplay and mechanics are much more realistic and exciting than the ones from Call of Duty and Halo. It is much more tactical, and the special ops theme makes the multiplayer games really collaborative and tricky. Got to keep your eyes peeled for everything when you play this game. Boom. Right on the money. My eyes are always peeled, and I'm able to play with the night vision goggles and thermo goggles to really see everything. Nothing is getting by these detached retinas. A tier for me. I'm thinking S tier Barack. There isn't really another game like it where you're a specialized agent or soldier. In all the other games, you are just another expendable soldier thrown into chaos and have to fight your way through. This game has a clear objective. S tier. But Trump don't think I like you now, buddy. Next up, we have Goldeneye. Class, pure class. Being James Bond, 
Although something I do every day is a lot of fun with a controller in your hands. I'd go A tier. I never liked the multiplayer. What about the Golden Gun dickhead? Yeah, Joe, that Golden Gun in multiplayer was elite. Yeah, the Golden Gun was cool, but with one shot reload, it really wasn't that good. Skill issue. Definite skill issue. So what are you rating it, dipshit? D tier, fuck this shit. I don't like this game at all. This is the oldest game on the list. You don't even like it? I'm shocked. Well, wake the fuck up, Skip. Okay, damn Joe, with a nice clap back for once. You're gay, bro. Okay, sorry not sorry, Trump, but this game really just isn't that good. When all we had were the fucking Nintendo systems, GoldenEye was a ton of fun, but frankly, I believe that is only due to the lack of competition. I'm putting this into C tier, although I have a lot of nostalgia from this. Moving on next, we have Destiny. Oh, yes, jetpacks are so fun in this game. In person, they're a little uncomfortable, though. Yeah, that presidential jetpack gets a little bumpy sometimes. Besides the jetpacks, I wasn't really a huge fan. Halo is always going to do alien invasions better than Destiny ever will. Unlocking new content, leveling up, and building your character wasn't really too fun for me either. The only real fun I had was finding rare guns and using them in PvP. What, you had trouble leveling up? I know life this shit up when it came out. A tier. Stop it, Joe. This game is C tier at best. There are plenty of good campaign missions, but all the loading screens and massive worlds make it so fucking slow. Like, I had to get up before playing any mission or game just to go get my espresso from the espresso machine. I had to get up at least 15 times a day, and my game was just loading, I swear. Oh, wow, boo-hoo. Donald had to stand up and walk over to the fucking kitchen 10 steps away. Suck my ass, bitch. I'm putting this into D tier. Finally, we have Left 4 Dead. This one was a banger. I'd give it S tier, but I just love zombie games. It's no COD zombies, though. It's better than Code e zombies in terms of zombie gameplay, actually. Are you just upset that you don't get to touch teddy bears in this one? Maybe. I mean, no, absolutely no. What the fuck are you saying? I Obama put this one in B tier because it's not really an FPS when I think of an FPS. Shame on you. Big shame for putting this on the list. Now I'm going to have to assert my dominance like I did with Kim Jong-un and take control in ranking the next tier list. Those are my demands. Bye. I'm going to go B tier. What do you think of that, Joe? I think this is bullshit. Why does Trump always have to make fun of me? Fuck, 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 Barack. What's wrong with me? Couldn't tell you, Joe. I really couldn't. Everyone gets made fun of, just some a lot more than others. Anyway, I got a jet. I'll see you later, my son.